Hey YouTube, it's Creations by Nay, and today I'm doing Lady Gaga's music video, Bad Romance Inspired Tutorial. And this is actually where she's wearing the sunglasses and turning to the side, and you can kind of see a hint of what she's doing. And you can also see the full uh, makeup look at the very end when she's wearing all white. So please keep watching if you do like how I did this. So to make the base of the application, I'm just going to be using uh, Laura Mercier's Cream Ivory Silk Foundation. I like this because it will give uh, quite a lot of coverage. And I'm going to apply it with a Sephora IT brush. Um, and just starting midway out. Not all the way up here, but just kind of like right here. I like to use a shade for this particular look because it does um, whiten the complexion just a little bit. Lady Gaga is very fair in this video, or in this particular section of the video. Also using the foundation as my eye base. Next I'm going to apply Maya Mineral Makeup uh, Concealer in the color Medium all over the face with a kabuki brush that she actually sells. This one's a little dirty right now, sorry. Next, to create Lady Gaga's eyebrows in this uh, picture, I'm going to be using Jordana's uh, liner in the color dark brown. That would be my look. And just filling that in. And I'm just going to comb through these. And set my brows with the powder. In this case, I'm using Smashbox uh, Brow Kit and using a more light brown. Now, using Sephora's Nano Liner in the color black, I'm just going to take this and bring a shape kind of up and down and blend it out. I'm also taking this color down here below and dragging it long ways. Now taking a crease brush, blending brush, small contouring brush, anything like that. Um, in this case I'm using 630 by Jeunesse Makeup and just blending the edges outward. And little small strokes. I don't want to try to take it too far up. But as you can see, we've made this more uh, sharp. So I'm going to be using more of a light uh, shimmer shade on the BH Cosmetic palette and probably one of these. And just right at the edge, kind of like right there, I'm going to be applying that shade all the way into the crease. Not over where that blending was, but on top of the black. I 
and just lightly blending it outwards. So I'm actually taking a matte black. And just patting it all across the lid upwards. I wanted to recreate that shape that we made at the very beginning with the black Sephora eyeliner pencil. Now taking Maya Mineral Makeup and the eyeshadow called Snow White. I believe it's discontinued, but they have something very similar to it called uh, Swan Lake. And it's like a matte white. And it is loose pigment, so be careful with this one. Um, you just want to basically tap it before you apply it so you don't have any excess on that black area. And if you do get fallout on the black area, don't worry. We can always clean that up. Now I'm just taking a blending brush like this, which is Max 224 brush. And blending these shades all together. Now going back with like a Kleenex with makeup remover on it or like a wipey and just not all the way up below the eye but just slightly and into the brow. Next taking a um, matte darker bronzer, way darker than your shade, um, and also an angled brush, such as this one. This one is by Maya Cosmetics, and it's a C104 angle brush. Just pack that color on there, like that. And where her start is very sharp, um, it's not too sharp to the point where it's like in a straight line, but it is very sharp nonetheless. So. Just starting from here. And it's very raised as well, so not even the hollows of the cheeks, but the higher cheekbone area. Taking that same shade and also applying it right up here. And definitely where the neckline is. Taking that same bronzer and just sharpening up the nose. Blending it downwards. Now taking this smaller chisel um, eyeshadow brush and just blending what's by the gray and then to the brow. Now what she has on is definitely more rosy for the cheeks. So I'm actually going to be using um, the color Deep by Maya Cosmetics, it's like a loose mineral matte powder, just to darken that up a little bit more.
And this almost has like a reddish tint to it right here. It may look orange, but it's actually very red in person. Next, going back with my MAC 183 or 133, whichever, um, brush, stippling brush, I'm going to take that Maya Mineral Makeup um, Medium Concealer and just to re sharpen this area. Now using a very matte, dark, red liner by Jordana. This particular one is called Cabernet. I'm going to line my lips. And fill them in as well. So now that we already filled our lips in with the uh, Jordana Lip Liner, I'm going to go back and use Sephora's Nano Liner in Black again. And I'm just going to lightly uh, line my lips as well as kind of blend it into the middle so that we have some kind of like dimension or uh, black to red effect. So it looks quite vampire-ish right now, um, but I'm going to go back and add um, more matte lipstick to this. And this is Moulin Rouge, uh, Rouge Artist Intense by Makeup Forever. Looks like that. Okay, and we're almost done. The next thing I'm going to do, um, again, because I used that gray, it kind of took away that black. So I'm still going back using a Makeup Forever Aqua Black uh, Gel Liner just to emphasize the um, inside lid area to make sure it's very dark and um, mysterious looking. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little mascara and then our lashes, and we should be done by then. Lightly blend it outwards. And taking that same shade and also doing the waterline. An angle line just kind of going upwards toward the brow in little strokes so that line's more intense. And to apply the lashes I'm taking uh, the Super Bond glue. It's actually for hair but a lot of people also use it for their lashes. So there goes my Lady Gaga um, Bad Romance video. Inspired look. Now this is when she's wearing all white, especially at the end when she's, um, I guess, on f the fire or flames are behind her. So this is definitely the look I'm trying to replicate. Hopefully I did a good job enough. Um, I think I did, but let me know. Um, please guys, thumbs up if you liked it. Please rate and comment as well and subscribe. I would love to also get any requests if you have anything that you want to try out. Um, let me know and I'd love to do a video on it for you. Thank you so much and enjoy.